Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Chandra Tribal. You know we had to do it. There are uh, three new Chandras in Corset 2020 and some other cool cards with Chandras in the title that have to deal with Chandras. So we had to just put them together and try it out, you know, see how we can do with the Chandra Tribal deck. So we have some removal spells with our Shocks and our Lightning Strikes. Uh, Chandra's Triumph deals three damage to any to a creature or planeswalker so not players unless you have a chandra planeswalker then it do, is doing five so we can do five damage do some different stuff for two mana instant speed with our chandras in play pretty good rate doesn't exile like lava coil does um but still a good rate there it can take down like teferi immediately a uh, big teferi that ticks up um we have our Chandra's Regulators. Every time that we use one of our loyalty abilities, we can pay one mana to copy that ability and and uh, basically activate it again. So that's pretty sweet. We get double activations by just spending one mana. Plus we get to rummage away to look for more things. We can discard a mountain or a red card to draw new cards. And we got the Ember Cat, cute little cat here that adds red mana that can only be ca used to cast elemental spells or chandra planeswalkers well, we've got a lot of chandra planeswalkers so that's good though um chain whirlers because this card's just kind of busted and then we have all of our chandras they work pretty well together like this chandra can make two red elemental creatures and then this one can give those elemental creatures plus two plus zero and make them four ones or three ones sorry while they're attacking i guess i should probably do a little bit of math there or this Novice Pyromancer can also add some extra red mana to help you cast the Awakened Inferno earlier. So this Novice Pyromancer is a good bridge between these two. Um, our Acolyte of Flame also has the minus two ability, which lets us snap cast back any of these uh, two mana spells that we have in here. And of course, we have the Fire Artisan that just lets us get some good card advantage exiling the top card of our library return and help letting us play that and since we have so many planeswalkers in here we got a copy of sarkin that can also just do a whole bunch of damage out of nowhere if we just have a bunch of chandras in play tick up that sarkin do a lot of damage make some four four chandras and this card's just kind of busted so um yeah that's kind of our deck here uh we are hoping not to get paired against the immortal sun i don't have any artifact destruction um my way to kill Immortal Sun is my opponent plays Immortal Sun and also has some spell that gets rid of Immortal Sun in their graveyard, and then I Daredevil and use their spell that uh, can get rid of the Immortal Sun to get rid of it. So that's what I got. We'll see <laughs> how reliable that is. Um, so there we go. Let's go ahead and get started. Chandra Tribal. I'm I'm definitely excited to play this deck. I've been waiting to play this deck all day. See how it goes. Why not play in an artifact removal spell? I don't know, because it's it's pretty narrow, you know, it's just basically trying to have a removal spell for just one card in the entire format because i don't really want an artifact removal spell for anything else besides just um immortal sun i'm just gonna not get paired against immortal sun instead i feel like that's a a better choice than having a really really narrow sideboard card in my deck i know it's not really exactly a choice you get to make but that's my goal What deck were we just playing? We're just playing Safara Spirits. Okay, there it is. Okay, perfect. All right, what do we got? Espa. All 
Well, I'm glad we added in this 25th land in here. But of course, we did add in a bunch of temples, and we may slow this um, we may draw a temple here and not be able to chain roller. I have a plan. Hmm. Let's try this. Boo. fires without me say hi to my fiery friends what's up fiery friends we will meet again trust me. are they minusing the teferi again That's more they are okay Hmm. Let's get the regulator in here. I wish it was like you could get to just activate the Planeswalker twice. I would use one like tick up ability to get another loyalty counter on the Chandra. I don't think they're gonna use a cast down on just this one one to keep the Teferi alive. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Can't handle the regulator. There is no regulation happening over here. Our Esper opponent got fried. All right, let's get these Daredevils in here. Probably want the fries also. And the Sarkins. So that's 67. We'll cut back on... I kind of like Shock more than Strike. I'm going to take out the Ember Cats, and then it's what do we do? It's like Strike and Shock. We'll cut two Strikes, one Shock. All right, here we go. Regulators mount up. Oh, thanks, Wispy. Glad you're loving the playlist. Use it whenever you play MTG. Nice. There you go. I don't know if I'm supposed to have all of the Sarkins in. Sarkins minus ability isn't spectacular against Little Teferi, or Big Teferi to be honest, but Sarkins plus ability is definitely good. We've got some other Planeswalkers in here. All right, got to draw a land again. Oops. Temple of Triumph. Yeah, sure, I'll keep that land too. Yeah, I have separate audio tracks being recorded. Um, like one, like basically, like one being sent to the stream, one being sent to the recording for the video. Um, I'm not sure which one I want to play, honestly. I'm gonna, play, I'm gonna play the chain roller this time. Wrong card for me to play. Not to brag, but I'm totally the best. Hey, these little guys are great. You could have, you would have cut C W. Which card is C W? You would have cut C W for more burn. Hmm. 
Hmm. Don't really want them to counter the Chandra. Seems like they have a counter spell. Okay, no counter spell. You and I are gonna take them out. Let's light it up. That worked out pretty well. Say that worked out very well. Mother Ludi gave us homework. So next turn I can I can ultimate Chandra next turn like this. I can I can ultimate the fire artisan next turn. I am <clears throat> not going to sit this one out. Let's skip Ooh. to the good part. Just gonna let me ultimate, huh? Study, focus? I just want to burn stuff already. This is hard. You don't my need worst me anymore. Feet. What's that smell? Oh, All right, what do we got? It's you. A whole burning. bunch of lands. Not much here with this ultimate. Well, we cleared off a whole bunch of bad cards. So at least we did that. Right on schedule. Whole bunch of cards we didn't really need. This might be a bad idea. Wow, let me have Daredevil back. That does sound like that could be a bad idea. Hardly my worst defeat. Don't worry, I brought company. Boom! Scoops it up. We're gonna be able to play a temple there, scry. Chandra Tribal is sweet. This deck was fun. We're holding up pretty good boot. This this could be our last deck of the night here. We're 11 hours into the stream now. We're 11 hours into our 12 hour stream. It's looking like we may not have time for the Neoform Elementals. No, our opponent didn't have the best lines necessarily and they were also they had some mana troubles there too. Um, you know, like that game, they only had one black source, for example. The final take on spirits, I didn't have much the only thing that i really wanted to change was to take out mu yanling from the sideboard for lyra dawnbringer that was about all i had there for like the final take there on the spirits um i was really really impressed by the one mana flash spirit that you could pay for to draw a card that card is awesome the favorable wins may not really be necessary in that deck honestly I'm not in love with the favorable wins there. And it it probably just needs a little bit better anti sideboard stuff. Or like sorry, anti aggro sideboard. Uh it wasn't too impressed with the pro red one one. I know I'm gonna miss Lyra and Resplendent Angel for sure for rotating out. Those are the cards I'm going to miss the most. Ooh, Mono Black Aggro does get get some good upgrades there. Nagu, good call there. Oh no, we're facing the mirror? Okay, not quite the mirror. Almost the mirror. 
Hmm. The removal spell is probably good against Breeding Pool. I guess maybe good against Breeding Pool. I do just kind of want a little bit of more land, though, also. Yeah, I know. It is kind of bothersome, like all these. How big these deck sizes look right now. I like the London Mulligan rule for standard here. I don't... I don't know like how great it is for other formats, but I like it for limited and standard. The ring of my sword is your death knell. Vampirism is a useful All right, so do I kill Kill Paradise Druid, or... Yeah, I think I want this other Chandra in play, right? Oh! Oh, I did not play that very well. This Elemental Cat's not just a mana creature all the time. I need to use the Elemental Cat to cast this cat, to cast my other cat, and then Lightning Strike the, the Paradise Druid. Okay, well, my plan didn't work too well. There. The moon looks to the library. Gosh, these things have so much loyalty. <laughs> Time for a drink. Ooh. How are we doing this? Be afraid, wizard. Reach into that ley line thing. This Your aggression is noted. I guess you do not want to talk. Nope. I don't like I that. For blood. Nope. Don't like that. Let me aid your research. <laughs> Ugh, another Paradise Druid. Yeah, I gotta get rid of this Tamiyo. Vial Offering? Hmm. Can I get rid of... Ugh. I don't really want to play the Chandra Awaken Inferno into the Vile Offering. Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe I do. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Oh, that's gonna kill Chain Whirler. And see if you make it to the inferno. I've always wanted to make a really big fireball. 
All stories. All right, I don't, I don't know if that play was the best. I think I maybe should have just Acolyte of Flamed, made some Elementals, tick up on the Chandra, on this Chandra to make the Elementals three ones, and make these four twos, and just attacked with that. I forgot about that killing my Chain Whirler. I was kind of considering that wasn't going to kill my stuff. I demand servitude. But yeah, if they don't have the if they don't have the mana. You know, if they didn't have the land there. Okay, cool. So I, I definitely did want to get rid of that Paradise Druid. And yeah, we are going to just get rid of their... So we are going to get rid of the... So the reason why our opponent conceded there is... Well, they probably didn't realize it, but we were definitely going to kill their their Sauron that turn uh, by... You know, we're going to play the Soren, make more elementals, give them all plus two, plus zero. Like, their Soren was dead. And um, then they can't cast the Yawgmoth's Vial Offering anymore. So Cage is more for... I mean, I guess we'll just play them both, but Cage is really more... <clears throat> For Experimental Frenzy, Silent, Silent Gravestone, more for Dread Horde. Hmm. Don't know really exactly what I want to take out, though. I guess a couple of shocks for those. I'm going to drop the other shocks for coils. Yeah, Sarkin could be good in this matchup. Maybe I could drop one regulator. Especially post-board when they'll have more interactions for the Chandras. I'm not super confident that we're going to be winning these post-board games, to be honest. This should just say, or Chandra spells. So we get to cast these Chandra Triumphs and Chandra's Regulators. Also, with the Ember Cat. Yeah, Elder Spell could kill us. Land, 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 land. Land. I've got it. Yeah. Go get him, Chandra. I'm happy as a hellion to start some fires. Don't worry. I brought company. I'm getting too old. Boom, boom. Up as I go. All right, cycle to fairy. The triumph Every and the an acolyte of flame can take down the I Tamiyo. Know I noted this somewhere. Yeah, I've been enjoying this deck. This deck's pretty fun. 
So the real question is if I want to play the Regulator or the Ember Cat, which one do I want to have in play? I guess the Ember Cat. No one asked no for problem. your Fire input. Can't solve. Go get him, buddies. My research has been compromised. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> You're welcome, Revel Dark. Yeah, Steamkin is an elemental. Considered Steamkin instead of Embercat. Right on schedule. That's kind of where the the Steamkin would go. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Anyone need a fire started? No. Too bad. Go get him, buddies. What? They probably just have Command the Dreadhorde here, right? They're just like letting their Teferi die and everything. Sorry, They're going down to two? I'm known for my excellent timing. Not so fast. Oh, I am not so sure about that, buddy. All right, we need to draw land. Trust me, Yori, with life. that Twitch Prime sub for that sub lock, that means we're definitely drawing the land. I think you will find. Come on, let's draw land. land. No, not land. Dang, we need a land for the mobilized district. Yeah. Oh, regulator only costs one. Not to brag, but I'm totally the I was thinking it cost two. <laughs> That's what I was about to go look over. And then, great. yeah, y'all said, so I said use regulator. And so I was like, let me go check out that regulator. It only costs one to loot. To rummage. GG, Hawkeye. The Ember Cat got me there. Yeah, I don't think they should have gone to two. I don't think they should have got the little Teferi. Or the Tamiyo, I guess it would have been. I guess they had to have the two Teferis. Dude, regulator is sweet. That's what's up. Yeah, this is a pretty good, good deck to craft. I mean, this, this deck's a lot of fun. The sideboard's still kind of a mess, just like all mono red decks. I'm definitely glad we added in the 25th land in here. Are you an Umber Cat? Need more land. I 
Which, of course, these Ember Cats could... Um, you could cast that Chandra, of course. As if they stay alive. Hmm. Gotta get that thing off the battlefield with them missing a land drop. You know, having the Arc Light Phoenix over there, just gotta get that off the battlefield. Ooh. Got rid of the Crackling Drake. Moving Bant Ramp to tomorrow. Uh, just kind of, you know, running out of time here. Don't have a Chandra Planeswalker out. Yeah, both Opt and Chart, of course, look, look like they won't be in the format anymore. Unless Opt is in... No, Opt's not in M20. So are they attacking with the Crackling Drake? No, attacking with the Phoenix though. I need some kindling. And you look flammable enough. So another line I could have done there was like Chain Whirler again. Um, I guess I could have gone Chain Whirler plus Triumph just to kill that uh, Crackling Drake. But the thing I like about putting the Chandra out here is it does really incentivize my opponent to, you know, attack the Chandra. Like they, they kind of have to. And it does like just set them, set them up pretty bad to, you know, lose it here. Like... Next for me. Hmm. All right. Yeah, maybe I should have just done that the previous turn over the Chandra. I don't know. It worked out. Though, let's get these Daredevils up in here. Fries can take out... What you doing? Fries can take out uh, the Drakes and the Electromancers. But I think I just... I definitely want Coils. Though. Sarkin gone. And trim a Regulator or two... I don't think this is too good of an Ember Cat matchup, honestly. Getting shocked. It's not a good Chain Whirler matchup. It's really not a good Chain Whirler matchup. Chain Whirler is just kind of busted, though.
Yeah, Flame Sweep. I could see playing Flame Sweep instead of Fry. Because it does, it can get rid of, you know, can just put the Phoenixes back in the graveyard. Um, does kill their 2 2 also. Could catch a bunch of Phoenix Phoenixes. I was definitely looking at that one. Uh, we didn't really... I don't think we ever played Dovin in the Spirit deck. It didn't seem, like, super important. I think it's kind of more important to be able to cast Safara. I think without Dovin, it's hard to cast Safara. Kind of hard, but yeah, we we never played it. So if you want to replace it with something else, go ahead. What an interesting creature. Let's see how you work. Anyone need a fire started? No? Too bad. Go get him, buddies. Ah, enough! Uh, you probably just want flying creatures to replace them. Or blue-white planeswalkers, or... Hmm. So they are going to be able to kill my Chandra. Oh, they didn't didn't play a spell there. They didn't play their radical idea. I will return. Well, these temples are doing good work for us. Getting these lands on the bottom. Stop. Can't kill all the electromancers all the time. And you're gonna get I definitely feel bad for taking out Chain Whirlers. I don't know what I'm doing here, but it's gonna be fun. Fire spreads fast with help. Definitely feel bad for taking out Chain Whirlers when they have uh, Sahili. I don't really think of Sahili. Chandra Tribal is going good. This deck's fun to play. And it's been pretty good, too. So far, we beat Esper and Four Color Dread Horde. And now we're up a game against Is It Phoenix. I don't think we've lost a game yet. Get this annoying little 1-1 one, one out of here. Consider it, of course, making two 1-1s one, and then making them three 1s. And you're making two three ones, dealing six to them. 
Just gonna stop here on the main. All right, there we go. I don't think bringing in war boss against red decks is a smart idea, or like I don't, I don't think it's the best idea. Like decks that have a lot of burn spells, I like that's you don't really want war boss there. I don't know if that's a great sideboard card. All those fire critters. We've seen a lot of lands. That's seven lands plus both of our scries put lands to the bottom. That's not ideal. Love it. What a great draw. You can just regulator both of these. Whoosh, up in flame. I call my fists Pyromaster and Firebrand. Do I want to make four one ones? Yeah. Say hi to my fuck. You'll get him, buddies. Did I just have lethal there? I may have. So I could have made four. This could have made another two. That would have made six. And then I would have done the plus two twice. So they all would have been five. Yeah, we had like really lethal. Like really lethal. That's okay. We're gonna have lethal again this next turn. So it's all good. Guys are great. Yeah, I would have had to discard this Chandra to draw a card with the regulator. I'll discard this mountain to draw a card, of course, but it doesn't really matter, they're dead. Regulate. Man, the regulator has just been like an all-star for us. It's it's been awesome, honestly. That card's been really, really good. Yeah, so yeah, you just get to just attack for twenty. Yeah, just have those two out, and you have the regulator. You don't have those three out. You get to make four, four one, four five one creatures. So yeah, that's just twenty. Chandra Tribal is sweet. Oh no, the mono red. The mono red. What is this? They're gonna do some stuff when their things die. I guess this is a Rakdos deck. Rakdos Aristocrats. Huh. A Cavalcade of Calamity deck. Ow. Ow. Where's my Chain Whirlers at? Chain Whirlers up in here.
Oh, yeah, I, I bet they play three mana Chandra. Yeah, three mana Chandra seems awesome in this deck. Yeah, we'll have our flame sweeps coming in from the board. So yeah, we'll have four chain willers, three flame sweep after sideboarding. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try something new. I mean, the goal is to kill them next turn, I suppose. Anyone need a match? No. Too bad. Spreads fast with help. I sure hope you can't handle the heat. GG's. All right. GG's. Say hi to my father. Don't worry. I brought company. It's elemental, dear. 20. What's your name? Combo. Got there. Okay. That's a good combo. Let's get these flame sweepers in here. Oh, Sarkin, absolutely. Sarkin minus, so it, it deals one damage to their creatures whenever they attack. Yes, please. All right, so now what are we taking out? Ugh, do I want more removal in with the coils? This Chandra is a sweeper also. We have we have a lot of like little sweepers here. I guess I should be taking out the Ember Cats with all these sweepers. I don't know, the Ember Kitties can do a little bit of blocking. The Triumphs can kill their um their Chandras. Take out one big Chandra and the Ember Kitties. I... Right. 
the fire artisan can like recast all these spells from our graveyard you know like recast um whatever our, our sweeper is called like recast that for example All right, so if I target them or a creature they control, it deals two damage to me. Well, can we stay alive and get to these Sarkins? Oh, Fire Artisan. Oh, you're saying take out Fire Artisan. Yeah, okay, well... Yeah, I could see Fire Artisan being a card to cut here, honestly. It doesn't it doesn't seem like a card that I want too much in in my hand right now. Not really a reason to wait. This does two to me, but it's, you know, it's not three, you know, attacks for three. We just gotta stay alive to Sarkin. I don't think we're going to actually stay alive to Sarkin, though. No, we're dead. Yeah, I'm just dead on board. Nope. I mean, I guess we weren't we weren't actually dead on board. We needed the, the, the three mana instant speed sweeper. All right, maybe on the play I could keep that, but... It's not on the draw. Um, yeah, let's take out some fire artisans. We don't need that card. Get lava coils in instead, or lava coil can get rid of that thing that whenever it dies it amasses. All right, this is better. Now, Sarkin is amazing in this matchup. We gotta have Sarkin. Sarkin's passive ability. Just whenever they attack us, they take damage. <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen yeah, we haven't seen the chain whirler or that other sweeper yet. Um Yeah, that's still my plan, just get this thing in here now. There's flame sweep.
I'm glad my opponent did play three mana Chandra there. I don't really have a hand to deal with three mana Chandra. Wanted to hit the land drop there. Flame Sweep does two damage to every creature at instant speed, except for my creatures with flying, but you know, like that's so it does two damage to every creature. Living in a monastery full of firebrands? <laughs> All right, time for us to pressure them. Put him down to four. Man, these shotters are cool. All right, I feel like the Chandra should do the final damage. What know you of dragons? Come to me. Chandra's got to do the damage. We'll let. That happened, and we are 4 0. All right, this deck is sweet. All right, time for our final boss playlist. That's right, we're already at the final boss here with our four wins. See if we can pick up that fifth win here with Chandra Tribal. Should I make that a command 619? There you go. All right, here we go. Man, this deck's sweet. Definitely my favorite deck we played today. Oh, never mind, hate the deck. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, sorry, Mobilize District. You gotta go. Uh. I just want to play this card so bad. All right, we just need to draw one land. That's all we need to do. Should have got rid of the shock. Because we'll have the Novice Pyromancer add two red mana and play the Awakened Inferno. Why is it always the Thought Razor deck? Whenever we mulligan and we're down on cards, it's always the Thought Razor deck. Yeah, this deck could add white or blue for free, you know, like with the 12 dual lands. Really? Viva Sandy. Be afraid, That's what we're doing these days. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try something new. That's why the shock was taken. No. 
Mashandra. Ooh. Hmm. Maybe I don't need that extra land, but kind of want it. Want that fifth land there. I could have, you know, minus two the Chandra to dealt the damage here. Ah, okay, so this is just the Grixis aggro. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I have to discard a mountain card. That's right, I can't discard the temples. So I gotta discard a mountain. Hmm. I guess the no novice pyromancer is dead. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try something new. Oh, my spirit's been doused. All right, down to four. Loot. Hmm. I guess I can loot away that card also next turn. It's been a lot of lands for us. A lot of lands and regulators. I looted away the regulator, not the land, in case I drew six mana Chandra. I, I wanted to make sure that I had the sixth land there. So close. I will spare you. In exchange, your existence is pointless. Those last two burn spells would have gone upstairs. We would have had this one stop. We're kind of playing for the longer game with having the regulator in play. Grixis doesn't have a ton of win cons, but those these win cons that they have are all very, very good. Guess we're going upstairs. Yeah, Bolus Tribal versus Chandra Tribal. Sorry, Ember Cat, you're not doing a whole lot for us here. Yay! Won't lie. I'm a pretty great 
Necromancer. Okay. Get these daredevils. Those are very good against Grixis. Sarkin is pretty good against Grixis also. Fry, yeah, I mean Fry just kills both boluses. Like that's that's a good good part about Fry gets to kill the four mana and five mana nickel bolus, both of them. So we'll get those in instead of lava coil. Um, as far as cards to come out, do I take out the Ember Kitty? Yeah. Sorry, Ember Kitty. We're we're gonna need to keep a lot of removal spells in because we've seen like their Grixis aggro. Like I gotta protect against like Thief of Sanity and their haste creature and stuff like that. I don't want to cut any of the burn spells. I guess maybe I don't bring in the Sarkins. See either that or don't bring in the Chain Whirlers. Or like, so it's basically either cut two Chain Whirlers or cut two Sarkins. Let's just play. Let's let's cut one Sarkin. Let's play two Sarkins, three Chain Whirler. I could play more coils and stuff. No, let's go with this. All right. Yeah, maybe I should. Honestly, maybe I should be playing coils instead of Sarkin slash Whirler. To be honest. I do like Fire Artisan a lot in this matchup. This is a good Fire Artisan matchup. Normal Grixis. I don't really want Coil. They don't have a ton of targets, but this is a normal Grixis. Yeah, I should have Coil in this matchup. Coil definitely would have been better than Sark in there. All right, good hit. Dang. Oh, I was worried about discarding that other that last regulator, honestly, because of Bedevil. That was the exact card I was worried about. Thing we kept that land. Draw some lands. Yeah. No. I want to draw Chandra's. You draw land, I draw Chandra. Yeah. There we go. You want to play with fire, huh? Just gonna be bad for you. They draw land, I draw Chandra. That's how this game works. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. 
Chandra Nalar, Pyromancer Extraordinaire. Mostly. All right, Chandra Tribal with the 5 0. Let's get that victory fanfare up in here. New rare I didn't have yet either. Scheming Symmetry. Chandra Tribal is sweet. Man, this deck was really cool. GG's. Good games there. All right, so what we learned from this deck... Let me update this 5-0 over here. So I played this mono red. This could be another color. You can have you can have another color in here very easily, like you know, blue or white with having the temples and the other eight lands. You know, you can have you can have twelve dual lands, still play chain whirler and play another another color if you want. Um Ember Kitty, probably not that necessary. Ember Kitty is really cool, but probably not that necessary. Twenty five lands was Definitely right. Glad we didn't play 24. This regulator card was awesome. Holy crap, this card was good. Um, yeah, this card was so, so good. Um, yeah, our deck probably is kind of far from optimal, especially our sideboard. Um, I'm not, not sold on the Sarkins yet. Not sold on the Sarkins at all. Um, but yeah, like... The Chandra's worked really, really well together. This not other thing, this card was really impressive. This should probably be like a three of. Yeah, like this, this we should probably get another copy of this card. Because this card was just awesome for us all the time. We were drawing this card a lot. Like the minus two dealing two damage to targets, it was just like killing a bunch of stuff. Especially with the regulator being able to do that minus two twice. Um adding mana was like really cool like just you know letting us like whenever we didn't have as much lands in our hand, letting us cast a lot of things every turn. The adding two mana um and you know it could be adding three mana if you want to use a regulator you know you get to you know basically get a black lotus for that minus so that was good and then the elemental creatures you know that combo with the chandra was really good so this this novice pyromancer super impressive a lot better than i thought it was going to be and the regulator was really good also both of those cards were awesome um the thing is, if you do add in another color, you're going to be cutting down on like your mountains quite a bit, and so that does make your regulator worse because you know you do need to discard a mountain for regulator. So that's something to keep in mind if you want to add another color. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty pretty sweet deck. The Chandra's triumphs were were good, uh, helping us pick off like Tamio with that just had so much loyalty and everything. Being able to do five damage was good. Um, but yeah, pretty awesome deck here. Maybe, maybe like have a couple Ugins in here also. I don't know. That's a lot more six mana stuff. I don't know. Ember Kitty was, Ember Kitty wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. In fact, there's, there's like those other matches having the mana, like we were stuck on mana. Some of those early matches and the Ember Kitty giving us the extra mana was, was honestly pretty good. So yeah, I, I liked Ember Kitty. Yeah, the kitty cat was good. Um, but yeah, pretty sweet card, or pretty sweet deck here. Um, the first deck they put you up against Nexus of Fate Amnesiac. You're not, hey, don't panic. You're playing against Nexus. Just play the Chandra. Chandra and do the plus two. If you give the Nexus person the emblem, so every one of their upkeeps, they deal take, deals them a damage. This, this card's really good against Nexus. Um, Bag of Holding is is very bad don't play bag of holding uh ember kitty could be steamkin steam could may be better maybe not though we, we're not playing like a lot of cheap spells to really make steamkin great um <laughs> yeah so they, they went on turn four. Oh well that's tough um yeah, you didn't didn't have the ability to get to Chandra yet. All right, well, Chandra Tribal, pretty sweet deck. Um, again, you can splash as we were talking about splash white or splash blue pretty easily if you want. Like if you need a 
you know, maybe you need to splash white for like an artifact and enchantment removal, uh, you know, to help to fight your nexus and fight your immortal sons. Like immortal sun is going to be really good against this deck, but I just went st straight up with the mono red here. It worked out pretty well for us there. Um, so there we go, Chandra Tribal. All right, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button over there. But that's it here for our Chandra Tribal. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.